Let's look at Langchain parsers. These deal with the CSV, JSON, Pandas, and Daytime. These are the ones that we're looking at anyway. I assume that you're going to use the OpenAI, a large language model, like a GPT-4.0, or possibly later. This code basically reads the authentication key from either the environmental variable or if you're using Colab from the secrets that you have here with this little key icon. This just installs everything needed and then we're now ready to look at the comma separated list response. So this is good when you want to send it or you wanted to send back a list of values. And that's a very common thing to ask it. So here we can see the template, list 10. Um, it's, it's giving it the basic formatting instructions. So listing up to 10. And you have it here. So here I can take what it's listed here and I can ask for, say, cities. And this comes back to me in a comma separated list of values. Whereas it, um, if, it, if it doesn't, then you'd get an error potentially, but they've got the prompt locked down pretty much so that it's going to give you that. So the subject, you can ask for really sets of just about anything. And this needs to be obviously in its foundation model for it to know. I can ask for a programming language and it gives me around 10 programming languages. We can also parse JSON results. So you may want it to give you JSON back, and certainly there is multiple ways to do this. I did something, I did a similar example to this before, but here I am asking for it in JSON, and I'm basically taking the input and I am giving them the language that they submitted to me. So the JSON contains um, a language and then we output French, Spanish, and Chinese as translations. And you can see that the results that I get are very much in a JSON sort of format. We use a prompt template so that we can specify exactly what the prompt looks like. It's also possible to query pandas data frames. I have to admit, I have not had as much luck with this particular feature of Langchain. Ideally, you could just ask it anything that you wanted to. What is the average population growth per U.S. state um, or something like that? And you would hope that it would go off and create this complex SQL type query, get you all this data, roll it up, and give you what you asked for. However, that, that is how it's structured, that it could do that kind of thing. But I found that often it won't be able to find the functions to really actually affect what you're trying to either change on it or get back from it. So here I just load in the Iris data set. This is a data set that I use for some things in my class. It's a very, very classic machine learning data set. It contains four measures for irises and then what species the iris was. And here I print out the head of the table. You can see all of the values that it, that it contains. Or at least the top values that it contains. And then we're going to tell it to answer the user's query and with the formatting instructions. And we are putting in a prompt, an LLM, and then the parser, which is a very common chain sort of format. And then I can ask it, get the mean of the sepal length column. And typically this will work, but you have to be careful. It doesn't know a wide array of functions, and it's very easy to cause an error at this point where you're just using something that it doesn't understand. So we can also do a date time. And the date time, the prompt that is built into Langchain ensures that you're given the date in the format that it's expecting. That way it can, it can um, parse it properly because there's a million different ways to format a date. 
And then we, we basically print out what the prompt actually looks like. And then we build the chain. Very similar sort of chain where you have the prompt, part processor, the large language model that it's going to, and then the output parser. And we can ask it when, when was the Python language introduced? Anybody else watching the, the Fallout series based on the video game? I always liked that video game. But I did ask it, when, when is the date of the war in the video game Fallout? And it gives me 10, 23, 2077. I didn't remember the exact date, but I remembered it was in October, and I remembered it was 2077. So that saves you from having to deal with the prompt, pro process all that data out of there. Thank you for watching the video. This is how you do some basic parsing of things that are built into the Langchain library so that you can parse out data that is coming from the unstructured data that Langchain is giving you.